Oi oi, the wreck is back. So we're off down the river at dusk and we're going to fish for pike using sardine dead bait with a pike float rod. 50 pound braid, 40 pound wire up trace and a 30 pound titanium hook trace at my disposal. <sighs> you hear all sorts of noises at night, those hedgehog screams are blood curdling. Ooh, so uh, I'm planning on watching the football at 8 o'clock. I'll just have the sound on because I'll be watching a starlight float. Okay, so what I do do is uh, I use these sardines. I'm only really fishing close in, so I'm going in real, you know, it's, it's only a couple of rods, if that, length out, you know, that I'm casting to. So I'm going to, these sardines, as lovely and soft as they are, when they're defrosted, and they will defrost quick as well. But there's a little dorsal on the top there, and it does give you a bit of grip. So I go in, I try and get, I try to get two points. I go in. I go in a soft skin underneath, and the darker skin I think is a little bit tough. It seems to be. I just push it in, pull it up a bit, and that's it. And you can't bring your bait back and send it out again, and bring it back and send it out again. That you know, if you, if you're stationary in one place, it's good. It works. Get onto your rod quick and bang you in, you know? But that will rip straight through that top, the top of that frozen sardine and straight into the pike's mouth with ease, absolute ease. I don't think, is, is there a better bait for doing that, you know? So the hookup, the hookup uh, ratios are fantastic. It's only whatever it is, five, six foot. I think I set the float at. So it's only, you know, five, five, six foot in the margins there. There you go. So I'm not fishing far out at all. The pipe to come along next to those rushes. I think it's happened so many times before. Obviously, I haven't got an underwater camera to prove it, but um, I've certainly caught a lot of fish like that. It's really important just to be organised. Um, I've got the forceps. They're on my jacket, I know where they are. Cutters, um, they're on the mat. The mat's just to the left of me here. I've got the rod to the right of me. I've got the neck just to the left of me. Uh, I've got head torch on my head, there. And I've got another head torch in my jacket. There we go. When you're night piking, you have to be organized. And know, know exactly where everything is. No fumbling around. And obviously, keep your space clear where you're fishing. You don't want to be tripping and falling in. It's cold. I can't go in the bank, I can't go in there. Oh, it's big. Got some power. Come on, put your back over here. Oh, 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 Not bad, not bad. Uh, dude, that's heavy. <laughs> that's heavy, bro. Uh, <laughs> Just weighed to come out 20 pounds. Just over 20 pounds, sorry. Check this out, guys. Check this out, water. Beautiful. Beautiful monster. Look at that. It's coming towards you. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, yes. There we go. Right, let's get you back. 
I'm just messing about for the camera. What's the time now? About 10 to 11. <laughs> oh, it's getting cold on it, river. I'm going to celebrate, grab myself a McDonald's. <laughs> well, it's been a great night, hard work. I'll tell you what, cause for celebration, McDonald's, 20 pound pike, have it. Cheers everybody. <laughs>